all right what is up everybody coming back at you with another video on the channel so it has been a few months um i've got a couple knives to catch up on but got this one in had to go ahead and get the video out obviously we have got a no knives knife here uh this is one i've wanted since it came out two years ago since the pre-order sold out in five minutes. So two years in the making here. Uh, there's two knives I really, really wanted I couldn't get. The No Knives Voodoo and the Sparrow Knife Co. Strix. Um, I did have a chance to pre-order a Strix. I didn't do it because I don't do pre-orders, but finally have the Voodoo. So now I'm down to one. Uh, so let's get right into it here. Glass bead blasted black camo fat carbon M390 hand rub satin serial number 1255. So on this drop, he did at least 1255 knives. These actually stayed in stock almost two days, which is <laughs> wild. I know the production knife market's down right now, just you know, mainly oversaturation. Every one of their brother has a knife now, which is not a bad thing. Um, got Sean Lum. Uh, I will say he shipped these things out pretty quick. Now, I ordered it Sunday at 3. Um, ordered it in the first 30 seconds. I was ready to go. I was determined to get one. Um, and uh, shipped Monday. Now, the tracking stayed in pre-shipment. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, I saw on his social media as he was posting, you know, him taking boxes to the post office. So I'm like, eh, it's possible. Um, he hasn't dropped it off yet. That kills me when it gets mark shipped. It is one man though. Um, and, and if he's boxing and sending thousands of knives, it, it just takes time. No ifs, ands, or buts. It just takes time. But I was trying to be patient. I've waited two years. I can wait another week. Then Friday, boom, out for delivery. Went from pre-shipment to out for delivery. Uh, so thanks USPS. Here's the COA, all your basic stuff there, no knives. And here it is, the no knives voodoo. Oh yeah. So a lot of times with knives like this, you've waited so long for and you finally get one, you get it in hand and you've hyped it so much in your head that when you get it, you're like, eh, it's cool, I guess. You know, you, you've already thought about it so much, you're kind of over it. That did not happen with this knife. Um, I got it in hand and uh, I like it even more now. So let's check out this beautiful hand satin m390 blade you have a bead blasted slot there we've got these interesting thumb triangle type deals going on you guys can look at those they do work well though um your thumb just kind of lands on it the flat spot there detent is i would say close to perfect um not too strong not too soft rockets out but it's not hard to deploy works great lefty and um, that's another reason i wanted this knife uh, as a lefty it is a bolster lock i love a bolster lock knife and the overall design on this thing is just wild got that black camo fat carbon um oh i forgot i have mineral oil i can put on this uh black camo Let's, uh, let's try that real quick. Do it live on, oh, 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 mineral oil everywhere. Do it uh, on camera, be kind of interesting, I think. this off my hands now let's see what we got here oh no oh, oh, everything's falling apart 
Okay, a little hair, cat hair. Mineral oil, no oil. Very nice, very nice. Um, if, if you didn't know, mineral oil uh, makes your carbon fiber look better, basically. Um, okay, let's get some size comparisons. So one knife I wanted to compare, another one of my favorite designer knives, the Renegade EDC. GOM. Okay, as you can see, the Voodoo is a good amount bigger. Um, this is 7.75 versus 8.25 here. Let's do the Sharp by Design Derecho. I don't think I've said that correctly once yet. Derecho is almost identical in size. Move this over, your old derecho. All right, can't close it. Okay, on the bottom, Evo 3.0 hand satin. On the top, Evo 4.0 belt satin. So you can see, um, basically in the middle there. That's a uh, cool trio. All right, let me get these out of the way. I'm gonna throw a PM2. Basically exact same size as a PM2. Get a little more handle and choil. And one last one. Last but not least, a Koenig Aries non-flipper batch four gen four okay just a little bit smaller than an Arius. very nice very nice okay so huh, getting in there overall absolutely in love the ergonomics on this knife it's hard to describe how good they are right-handed that clip you can barely even tell it's there. It's wild. Um, Left-handed no clip, it's even more comfortable. I mean, it's, I don't know, it just melts into your hand and you think with kind of this pommel area, it wouldn't, but man, it just really, really does. Um, choked up, not a huge finger choil, kind of a 50-50, maybe a one, two knuckle if you've got smaller hands. The choke up feels good. Knife came very sharp. These are OEM by Riot. Of course, titanium bolsters here. You've got the uh, the uh, V for Voodoo and or Hearts, whichever one you want to call it. You do have the slotted backspacer, which if your knife's not centered, uh, you'll be able to tell quick with that thing does have a detent ramp. I'm not a huge fan of detent ramps because it kind of gets on it. Like right here, it gets to the ramp, gets on, and then you can, you feel a little bit of, I don't know, you just kind of feel it right there because normally once you get past the detent right here, you're good, but it can pop back up. Not a big deal. You've got plenty of room to get in there and go ahead and drop it down. It's breaking in amazingly well. Like I said, just got it yesterday. Left-handed thumb studs work great. Reverse flick, you can get anywhere you want on here. Flick it just as good. Um, yeah, uh, my version, the QC was immaculate. I couldn't find anything wrong with it, knock on wood. Hopefully I don't find anything wrong with it. Uh, lock up right quick. I would say at least 40. Is it? Yeah, I'd say about 40%. Um, I don't mind a nice 20 to 30% when I first get it. So it's got plenty to break in. Um, but yeah, overall, this knife has absolutely lived up to the hype. 
Um, I picked up this version. I really wanted to get the purple haze with a belt satin version as well. I talked myself out of it. Um, you know, doing a run that big, it'll probably be a long time uh, before we get another drop, especially with the newer knives she's doing, like the Reiku and now the Ghoul coming out. Um, so we may never get another drop of these. We may not get another one to a V2. Um, I saw someone comment on his Facebook post and said, when's the next drop? Like, bro, <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Um, not for a while. Uh, but now he did great on the shipping, getting that many knives out the door. I was a little worried at first, but it, he had shipped it. Um, overall, guys, this knife has been reviewed quite a bit, but I'm a fan. It has lived up to the hype. Retail was 400, which he could have probably charged more and got away with it, and they would have still sold out. He kept it right at four, so I can appreciate that. Real quick, moving to some channel talk. Um, I have been on a Vosteed streak as of recent. Two PSYOPs and two Inclos, Inclios. Um, so we've got both a V1 with no filler tab and a V2 with the Ambi tab, uh, Inclio, Inclo, however you want to say it. Um, I'm going to do a review on this one soon, I do believe. And then we have got both versions of the Vosteed Psyop, um, the contoured, and then the non contoured. We've got some skiffs coming. I took this one apart. I've taken apart hundreds of knives. Um, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird how they've done that with the top liner lock. But, anyways, I added a little lock bar pressure, and when I put it back together, it was not very smooth. Hair difference. Not really. um, so I ordered some skiffs and if the skiffs do good in here I'm gonna get some for this one too you know 12 bucks um, so those will be here soon I'm gonna get reviews on those coming out pretty soon uh, but yeah um, appreciate you guys watching here subscribe to the channel we'll have more videos coming soon go check out some of my other videos like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel uh and have yourself wait don't forget subscribe and have yourself a great day